Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from Unkert Education here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Typora on a Chromebook. So the first thing we need to do is install Linux. So I'm going to work my way over to my launcher over here, and I'm going to search for my settings. And you'll see here, if you're watching this, uh, that recently Chrome OS, this is um, May 2024, Chrome OS has changed their UI a bit on the side here. So we've got to find the developer option. And that's right down here where it says About Chrome OS. If we click on that, we see we have this option to install the Linux development environment. I'm going to click Setup. And then this wizard is going to pop up here. And I'm going to click Next to begin installing. It's going to give me a username, which I believe is based off the email. And I would change it now if you want to change it, although you can uh, install the Linux development environment and then uninstall it and reinstall it and so on. But to avoid that frustration, uh, just pick one you want to use now. And then you have a disk size here. They give you a recommended disk size. This can be changed later on. Or you can change it now with a custom slider here and move it around. I'm just going to stick with the recommended. And I'm going to click Install. And that's going to go ahead and take a few minutes to install. And I'll come on back once that's done. OK, once that goes ahead and installs, a terminal will pop up. I'm going to maximize this, and I can do Control plus to increase the font size so you can see what I'm doing. So now I'm going to make sure everything is up to date by typing sudo apt update, and then two ampersands here for and, and then sudo apt upgrade. And I'm going to do a dash y flag to answer yes to any additional space the upgrade takes. I'm going to hit Enter. It's going to take a few moments, so I'll come on back once that's done. OK, once that goes ahead, uh, we can now clear everything out. And we do have to install a library that's going to allow us to write Markdown um, in these editors. And that is the libnss3 library. So I'm going to type sudo apt install and then lib, L-I-B, N-S-S-3 and hit Enter. That's going to ask to take a little bit of extra space. I'm going to say yes. It's about 4.5 megabytes. And then once that's done, we can just exit out of the terminal here and close this out. And we can close out our settings. And now we want to open up a browser. And we want to search for Typora. And the site is typora.io. OK, and once we get to this site here, we will see if we scroll down a little bit, we get to this download menu. We'll click on the download menu. And we want to click this down arrow here. And we want to select Linux. OK, so we can run these terminal commands, or we can do the .dev file. I'm going to download the .dev file. OK, once the .dev file is downloaded, I'll click Show in Folder. That'll be in your Downloads folder. And right here, I'm going to right click and click Install with Linux. It's going to gather some information. I'll click Install, and then OK. OK, we can close this out. It may take a moment for this to pop up. And there we go. I see it pops up in this Linux apps down here. So I can click on Typora. And Typora will open up. I can pin it to my taskbar if I'm going to use this frequently. And I can maximize this. And I can you know, start typing away in Typora. And you see it says unregistered here. So if you click on this, it'll bring up the uh, place where you can enter your license information and so on. Typora is a paid product. I think it's like 16 bucks or so at the time of this recording. It has the price on its website. And if you guys do want to install a free Markdown editor, I will be uploading a video on how to install MarkText very shortly. That should be on this end screen. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please uh, give it a like and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.